Hey you guys, it's Connor and welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna kind of be a, like a day in a life vlog. Very impromptu, but I'm off today and it's Saturday, which is quite rare for me to be off on a Saturday. Um, it's one of our busiest days uh, at the cafe that I work at. Um, so usually I like working those days. I like the fast pacedness of weekends only because it reminds me of being in bigger and like corporate kitchens. And it's kind of like having the best of both worlds, you know, enjoying the busyness without the uh, huge, like, corporate, I don't know, <laughs> what's it call it, um, like, harshness, you know. It can be a lot of harsh personalities in those kinds of kitchens. So without having that, but with having, like, the love of being, like, busy and pushing out great product in high volume and I just really enjoy that part of cooking in a kitchen so that's that but today I'm off so and it's St. Patrick's Day I doubt I'm gonna do anything St. Patrick-esque and it was never really anything that big growing up either so you know you wear green and that's about it <laughs> and I'm not even wearing green today I'm literally just like in a sweatshirt in my sweatpants and this is what I intend to leave the house in so that's about it we're gonna go grab some food um, and that's one of the things that I want to vlog about is to show you guys how to be vegan in different areas um, in different areas of food I should say so I think my mom says we're gonna go to Golden Corral which is super chill because it's like the most low-key place and I really feel like being low-key today um, it was a busy, busy week, and I'm pretty tired, so if I must leave the house, it has to be for a low-key reason. Um, and to make veganism accessible, to make plant-based eating accessible is one of my goals for this channel. And one of my goals in general, you know, of how I live my life and how I speak, you know, um, and lectures and demos and things like that. And even like through the food that I have, even though I work at a cafe that's, you know, vegetarian, vegan, and it's local, and it has mostly organic foods. Um, how do you eat when you don't have access to organic foods? Just because you don't have access to organic foods, I don't think that should deter you from being plant-based, giving you options. The Golden Corral that I live near has some organic options anyway, and they're very uh, accommodating. And there are a lot of places that aren't accommodating, and I can understand that. Uh, and I'll show you ways to get around it. Excuse me. But you can live in a plant-based lifestyle and have filling foods and go out to eat with your family members that eat differently than you and still be healthy. So that's the plan for today. I'm packing up my backpack, getting ready to go because I don't know where else we're going. I'm driving or going in my mom's car today so I'm pretty much a passenger <laughs> and um, just go wherever the dear mom takes me and that's about it I'm watching geese we have geese in my apartment uh, apartment complex that I live in uh, it's actually more like a little community that I live in but I live near the pond area that we have and there's tons of geese and ducks so I've been watching them pretty much all morning it's actually almost noon it's a little past noon and uh, that's why we've decided to just get up and go out and about do something outside of this day get some fresh air because we hate being inside <laughs> I mean, um, but I did wake up around 9 o'clock this morning and I did some freelance work. I asked to do freelance work with writing, mostly a lot of writing, um, only because it's something that I can do remotely and it's something that doesn't take up a lot of time for me because I'm a pretty good writer and a pretty good amount of time. So um, that's something that I do enjoy. I write things for health and nutrition and things like meal planning and stuff like that especially if someone the customer doesn't need a face-to-face -face option you know I can hop up on a webcam you know and talk to them but if they don't need that they just need something written out thoroughly like in detail I can definitely do that that's something that I excel in and I really enjoy it so I did a few hours of that watched some YouTube videos um, looked at some analytics for some things just trying to plan out um, 
future things the, to the minute detail. I like planning things <laughs> to, to a very strong detail. Like, I don't just cross T's and dot I's. It's just very, like, <laughs> very hard, you know. Um, so that's what I was doing this morning. It's a lot of life planning. Um, so that's it. I'll see you guys when we get to our first destination. All right. So I am back home now. Um, we went to Golden Corral, as you saw in the previous scenes. Then we just bumped around the city, drove around because the weather is so nice, enjoyed the sunshine, uh, went for a walk, and then we went to Target, which is where I got this Key Lime LaCroix. So good, by the way. Passion Fruit was my favorite flavor until this one. It's good. It's not just lime. Like, it's it tastes like key lime pie. It's delicious. Um, so I have that. I got apricot, too. Mom wanted apricot, so I got that for her. And now we're just back at home chilling. Um, I'm going to do some more work, I think. I think uh, I used some MCT oil um, in my potato. If you saw in the previous scene, I had a baked sweet potato and I put MCT oil instead of like any butter or anything inside of the potato. It was so good. <laughs> so good. Um, all of those options that I got, I didn't really even have to ask, but it does help to ask ahead of time because sometimes the steamed veggies can have like imitation butter on there or some kind of so oils. the staff were super helpful with any of my questions um they even allowed me to which i should have filmed next time perhaps um to look at the products that they actually do use and they didn't use imitation butter there they just used oil so it was a regular like peanut oil and that was fine um and some they used some kind of neutral oil as well i believe it was canola oil or like straight up vegetable oil Again, not the best oils to consume uh, if you are to consume oil because oil is not the best to consume anyhow, but um, you got to do what you got and that was the whole point of this vlog is about accessibility. Um, so that's it. Uh, that's what we ate. A lot of the stuff that I ate, especially like the pasta, the ingredients that I got were like half from the hot bar and then half from the salad bar and Golden Corral is like classic for having like for having that salad bar that no one really goes to <laughs> but that's was like a vegan's paradise is that area that way um because you've got fresh veggies fresh fruits there's like applesauce which i ended up having for dessert which i did not film but i had applesauce and like a whole bunch of fruit like mandarin oranges and pineapple and um, that's where I got my spinach and my carrots from to go in on top of my pasta. They had mushrooms and onions and peppers and things like that. So that went on top of my pasta as well. Super good, super filling. I got to check the I got to check the boxed pasta and it was vegan pasta just made out of wheat and water basically and some salt. And the marinara sauce didn't have any dairy or butter or anything else hiding in it. Um, so that was great. 
So my, my biggest thing is when you're at a place like that, don't be afraid to ask questions, especially because it's about your food experience, so don't feel bad. Um, places like Golden Corral and things like that especially want to make accommodations for people because they're touting that they have something for everyone. So dessert wise was the only place where they did it. Like they offered the fruit, like there was chocolate dipped fruit and they offered the fruit without chocolate. So like different berries and stuff like that. Um, but then I could have just went down to the salad bar <laughs> unless I really wanted strawberries without chocolate on it. Then that would have been fine. Um, Dessert was like the only thing where they weren't accommodating for vegan things and that's fine because there's not a lot of vegans I don't feel like that are going to Golden Corral who would like like a slice of cake or a cupcake or a chocolate dip rice crispy or things like that. Um, I feel like if you're really going on to that point, um, you either just go without or you've been vegan long enough to learn that you can just like make an alternative yourself and just be okay with fruit or no dessert and call it a day. All right, you guys, uh, I'm gonna drink this water. I'm gonna chill out. Might have some coffee too, we'll see. And um, might have to call it a day. Oh, I'll see you at dinner. All right, you guys, all right. Hey everybody, it's the next day. Last night I forgot to sign off. Literally a another plate of pasta, just had some leftover pasta that my mom didn't finish here at the house ate that with some olives, black olives, and some broccoli, and some green onions, and that was it for the night. Um, had some bulletproof coffee too, and that's it. So, here's me signing off. I'm actually about to eat lunch now. I'm going to show you guys in a second. But remember what this channel is about. It's about expanding the eco, which is everything, including us. And while expanding the eco, we're minimizing our ego, which is just us, our individual selves so that we can make room for everybody else. All right, you guys, have a great day. I hope you enjoy this vlog and stay tuned for other good stuff, all right? Peace and balance. Love, guys.